So we're back with what will very likely be the last news update video for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 before the Shadow of Doom DLC comes out. Now this centres around the fact that it looks like we had access to the patch notes, so it's patch 4.0. These were released on a Nintendo site and then from there they were shared on various other sites, Reddit and various other blogs as well. Now these notes were then very quickly removed, so it looks like they didn't mean to put them up yet, but it actually tells us a whole lot about the game. There may be more still to be added and that's potentially the reason they did remove them but let's jump in and let's check them out and get a, a preview of this upcoming patch so this first set of details here is relevant to people who have actually bought the season pass and then in a moment we'll look at what players who haven't bought the season pass will get because there is still a free update as part of this patch but if you bought the season pass of course you get the ability to play the Fantastic Four Shadow of Doom DLC. It's got a new story mode, so that's interesting, so that should potentially be new chapters and new cutscenes, and we know there's new bosses because we've already had a preview of that in earlier videos. Also, it mentions the fact that we've got the Fantastic Four characters, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, The Thing. It says perhaps more, but we know it is more guaranteed because when you look at the character select screen in game it's actually got space for five characters and there's only four listed here so i'm fairly certain the final one will be doom and fingers crossed it'll be awesome if that's the case also we have higher training levels added for danger room not massively fussed the blacks i'm not a huge fan of it and then new gauntlet added to the gauntlet mode which again i'm not really fussed on the gauntlet mode at all i do it to get some of the shield supply points for costumes and to unlock certain costumes. But once that's done, I really don't want to touch the mode again. It really is a bit of a grind, to be honest. But that's what the players who buy the season pack will get. Let's see what else is there. So for players without the season pass, then you've got this free update here. So you can play part of the new story mode for free. So again, I wonder if it's a ch few chapters and that'll maybe let you play the first chapter, for example. You've got your new outfits to unlock. We already know about that. There's 15 of them and we've looked at them in previous costumes. New voice lines to unlock. Pretty pointless, to be honest. I've never used them myself. New ISO 8 effects added. Hopefully we get some ones that add a bit more interesting mechanics to that show characters and shake things up a little bit level cap for heroes raised to 300 i absolutely hate this there's just no reason for this to be done at all because it's like something like level 40 onwards you've unlocked all your skills and it's it's just a way of artificially adding grind to the game not a fan of it really not a fan now it mentions after this it's added new slots where you can equip ice weight so i do wonder if you reach level 300 in the character for example is that how you're going to unlock these new slots well find out soon enough for that you then got added new nodes to unlock an alliance enhancement again it's something to do but the enhancement system is one that i was very interested in it when it first came out but it's a pretty limited system to be honest also it mentions here you can now play new limited time events i'm wondering if that's to do with the danger room potentially and there'll be some costumes locked behind that and then fixed various other issues to improve game experience so fingers crossed we'll get a fix to the, the ui and the iso 8 system something i've been talking about for so long but that's going to be the the update and it's going to be out really pretty soon so keep an eye on the channel and i'll have lots of different videos and if you've got suggestions for videos you want to see based around the content do let me know and I'll look to do them and thanks for tuning in and make sure to stay safe.